What's up, nerds? My name is Steve from Flipping the Nerd, and this is a contest entry video for Miss Fairy's 100 subscriber giveaway. Now, congratulations to Miss Fairy. Uh, very, very fantastic that you got to 100 subscribers. I'm sure it's just the beginning of what will be a growing channel that's going to get up to the thousands, I guarantee it. So, very, very cool channel. I'll put the link below. Um, she does, like, unboxing, she shows off some geek stuff, and she usually does it with the help or detriment of her husband and kids who um, participate in the videos. It's very funny. Seems like a really cool family. Uh, a, an upbringing that I wish, you know, not that I wish I had, because I had a pretty good upbringing, but uh, definitely seems like they have a lot of fun over there. So that's cool. So the way to enter, there were four questions I need to answer, and I will do that right now. Number one, what got you into the geekdom? Uh, what got me into the geekdom? Well, I'd have to say it's probably my father. Uh, my father is the reason that I became the geek that I am today. Uh, he just gave me access to all these really cool things that really led me to being geeky. Uh, he's the one who would pick the movies, he would rent them. And I would watch it with him, so all my love for movies came from him. And he'd rent a ton of movies. I mean, every weekend it was like four or five movies that we would watch. And he would make sure that I would watch all the ones that he felt needed to be watched. So I have not only an appreciation for movie history, but he wanted to make sure that I saw all the classics so that I'd be a big old geek when I uh, grow up. Uh, and that also translated to video games. He got all the systems. I mean, he had an Atari uh, 2600, he had a ColecoVision, he had an Intellivision, uh, he got up to the NES, he had a you know a computer with DOS games on it. Uh, he was the first one I ever knew to have a CD-ROM. Uh, he always bought the new systems as, as they came out, so you know I'm a big gamer because of him as well. I, I learned how to play on all those systems, uh, starting with the Atari 2600, and then more so with the NES and the computer adventure games. I would play all the time with him, so it was. Um, I definitely have to say that the re what got me into geekdom is my dad, and that goes to horror as well. He showed me horror films when I was a kid, so yeah. So definitely, that's the answer there. Uh, question number two: What did you have as a child that you wish you still had? Well, luckily, I kept most of the stuff that I had as a kid that matters. Uh, you know, there's some stuff that I don't really care about that I did get rid of. The one thing that I do regret, though, that uh, I have a couple of, but they're such bad shape that I'll never really display them. I used to have the entire series of Fright Flicks collector, uh, collector cards. Now, in the early uh, 90s, collector cards were a big thing. I mean, you had Marvel cards, you had cards for every movie, every television show. Uh, it's just like these collectible cards, and I kept a lot of them. I have all my Marvel cards still to this day. I have all my hockey cards, a lot of my baseball cards. But for some reason, uh, I also had all of the horror Fright Flick cards from 1990, 1991. But I, I'd, I'd take them out of the package, and I'd play with them, and i just abuse the crap out of them. And unfortunately... They're in such bad shape that I can't display them today, and that would be a really cool series to have in my plastic binders like I do my Marvel series. So that's probably the thing that I regret the most uh, that I had as a child that I don't have today. Uh, number three, ask us anything. Well, I'm curious, did you collect any of the collector cards in the 90s as well? And if not, uh, what did you collect in the 90s? I'm very interested. I love that period. It's when I grew up, so early 90s was a very collectible time. It's when collections really started, so I'd be interested to know what you guys collect, uh, you know, both of you, when you were kids. And finally, what would you like to see more of on the channel? Uh, what could we do better? Well, what could you do better? I mean, I have zero right to tell you what do you do better because my channel's, you know, not that great so uh you know i it's great but whatever you know what i mean uh i'm not in a position to criticize uh what i'd like to see more of uh, i'd like to see just you guys hang out in the family and collections i like what you're doing i like watching your videos already uh it's just really cool to see the awesome atmosphere at your house and just the uh what french people call the joie de vivre 
which is just the joy and the, all you guys have in your life. And it's really, really cool to see. It just seems like a really fun household to grow up in. So that's what I would like to see more of. Just more of you guys hanging out. So that's it. Congratulations again to Miss Fairy. A hundred subscribers is fantastic. And like I said, I'm not worried. There will be plenty more to come. Don't forget to go subscribe to her and watch her videos. And if you'd like to like, comment, and subscribe to mine as well, that would be awesome. Thank you, and I'll see you all.